This video goes over the latest software updates and firmware updates for the Kronos Zen device. Now there are two options that you have for how to install Zen Studios and the new firmware. This is option number one. All you need to do is open up Zen Studios and from there you'd plug in the right-sided cable. After plugging in the right-sided cable, which you'll see it should be the longer of the two cables, plug it in front or back of your PC or your laptop. That way you get the Zen Studio to open up, then you're going to get the software update from there. Once you click on the start button, you can get rid of that. If that happens to pop up, it's a issue with the error code. So you can either unplug and replug or just get rid of it. Hit OK. And then update. And then you're going to get this to pop up. Hit next. Hit install. And from there, it should be on your desktop. There are two different things that are gonna be showing up on your desktop, but we'll go over that in a little bit. Open up Zen Studios. Again, right-sided cable to the Chrono Zen device. Open it up. Now let's update your firmware. So in the top section, you've got these tabs. We're looking for the Tools tab, and under the Tools tab, you're gonna see Firmware Update. Right there, we need to use the smaller USB cable. That USB cable goes into the top. That's the console cable, I think they call that. So once you get the top cable in, the bottom button right there is what you're gonna press, and that's gonna bring up that thing on the screen there that says Zen Boot Loader. From there, you'll be able to pick and then continue. When you begin your update, you'll be updated to the latest firmware version. So real simple guys, nothing to it. This is if you have Zen Studios already on your desktop and it'll just prompt you all the way through everything except the firmware, that doesn't pop up automatically. There might be an error code telling you something like your firmware version is incompatible, but now you just saw how to do that. You would go to the tools tab up in the left hand corner and hit firmware update. So that is option number one. That's the quick and easy one. All right, let's move on to option number two. We get it from the web. So type into Google, Chronos Zen Guide. You're gonna see Chronos Zen Guide introduction. Click on that, and from there, it's gonna take you to the introduction page. Now, on the left-hand side, that's a lot of the options and tabs that you have. This is just explainer in the middle there, but on the left-hand side, click on Downloads. And you're going to see right there Zen Studio download for the latest version. Click on that. It's going to go up to your download folder. Now you can, you can just click on the thing if you want and that'll open it for you and you can run through the wizard. Or you can try to figure out where you put it, which folder it was in by clicking the folder itself. So it's totally up to you which way you decide to go with that. But I'd like to show you how I do it. So I click the folder. That way I can see where it's at. And instead of just having it there, you can double click on it from your download folder as well. I drag it to my desktop. You don't have to do that. You can just double click it. I'm just trying to be very thorough so you guys understand that this is a way you can do it. Then you would double click it from there, hit start, and it's the same exact process. Hit install. It's gonna give you two different things. One of them at the bottom is a little different. That's going to be another video. That is for remote play for PlayStation 5 users. So just to give you an idea of what it looks like. I don't have a PS5, so I'll have to do a little bit of other things to get that going. But back to the website. Right here, now we want to find the firmware. So we already did the Chronosense Studios download. Now we're looking for firmware. So go to the download spot again. And you're going to scroll down just a little bit so that you see this right here, Chronos Web Update Tool. That's the updater tool right there. That's what you're looking for. Again, top cable, top USB cable. Hit the, the little button on the back so you see Zen Bootloader. And that's going to pop up with what you saw right there. And then you're going to click on the, uh, what, what's that thing right there? <laughs> the firmware for update. Once you click on that, then it's going to upload the firmware to your Chronosen. It takes a little bit longer for the web one, I've noticed, than it is for the one that comes to, uh, straight from Zen Studios. 
but either way, it should work. Now, the other option that you have that I didn't show, and I'm going to go back and show it real quick. Um, if you do not have your Chronosend connected, then what you do when you're on this page would be to find it and then plug in your Chronosend. So if you happen to do it that way, then you'll see that it'll pop up there and then you can click your Zen device before it goes over to this particular page and this particular thing. And then you can update from there. So there's two different ways that it could go. But that is the long and the short of it for both of these setup methods. Pretty easy breezy. Hopefully it helps you guys out. After all that's said and done, you now have access to Zen Studios. And just to show you a little bit of what's in here, device, library, compiler, Again, the tools section, all of that. But what you're probably looking for, if you're a beginner, is going to be Game Packs. And that's under the Programmer tab. So this is where you would get your scripts. This is where you get your Game Packs, which are essentially pre-made macros and scripts. Basketball, to, uh, 24K, seems to be really important right now for everybody. So I just wanted to show you that that exists and what's in there. And that's kind of the long and the short of the setup video, my dudes. All right, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this and it was easy to follow. If you found some use, remember to leave a like, remember to subscribe. I love all you guys. Keep it zen out there.